to tell you about a dream I had a few weeks ago. I typically don't remember a lot of the dreams that I've had in the past, but recently I've been remembering them very vividly. These dreams have been very clear, just as if I'm looking in the screen right now. And usually they happen um, right before I either I'm about to wake up or right before, you know, it's time for me to get up either or. Um, and when I say wake up, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night, hound your business, you know how that is. But let me tell you about this dream. And this dream is very critical, especially in the times that we're living in today. And we know that you can have dreams, they can have many different meanings. But the main thing is that when you are dreaming, that you ask the Lord to reveal what the dream means, whether it was from him or it's not from him. And usually when a dream is from him, or a message that he wants you to relay to his people or to the world is usually a dream that is for either restoration, edification, comfort, or rebuking. There's never a dream from God that will leave you fearful. If you have a dream and you wake up fearful from it, what some people call a nightmare, they did not originate from the Lord. So let's get into this dream. So in this dream, I was in a backyard, like a grassy area, like in Africa, like the like the 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 plains of Africa, somewhere along those lines. And there was a broken tree in the middle of this area with pythons all on the tree. And to my right, there was an old broken down pool chair. You know, one of those pool chairs you see when you go to the pools with the back that can raise up, those type of things. And on that broken down pool chair were snakes. They were curled on top and underneath. And then I saw a lamb in the mud, stuck in the mud in front of that tree that I mentioned before that had the pythons all in it and around it. And the sheep was attempting to cry, but I did not hear any noises. You know, sheep bray and makes noises, especially when they're in trouble or in distress. And the sheep was attempting to do that, but I did not hear anything. And as I looked, I saw this long black and cream python slither down the tree and approach the sheep. The sheep was not aware that the python was sneaking up behind it. And you know, pythons are very um, stealthily in a way. So typically when they're about to strike, uh, you do not see them coming or hear them coming. The python grabbed the sheep by the tail and began to swallow. Now, keep in mind, whenever you see a python attack an animal or anything, it usually bites it. And then it wraps itself around the animal or whatever to suffocate it. They're called constrictors. So naturally they constrict their prey and then they engulf it. But this was different. This python snuck up behind the sheep and began to engulf it without even bothering to suffocate it. And I saw that slowly the sheep was being engulfed by the python. And as I looked, I distinctively, as clear as day, heard myself say, look at that python about to swallow that sheep. He's trying to fight back, but there's nothing that he can do unless we intervene. Let me say that again. I heard myself say, as clear as day. 
Look at that python about to swallow that sheep. He's trying to fight back, but there's nothing he can do unless we intervene. And then I woke up. And so after I had that dream, I immediately prayed and asked the Lord, number one, was this from him? And number two, what's the interpretation of it? And so the Lord revealed to me that the sheep are his people or the church. And they are stuck in deception. They are stuck in deception. And the snake is the world or the devil. It represents the world or the devil. And the world is swallowing the church whole. Unless we as believers, the remnant, intercede. We must intercede on behalf of our brothers and sisters who are stuck in deception. There's so much deception out here. You know, the Bible talks about in the last days that deception and things along those lines will increase so that the very elect will even be fooled. We have to try things by the Spirit. We can't run off with everything we hear. We have to be sensitive to the Spirit of God within us. And we have to have spiritual eyes nowadays. We cannot be deceived. We cannot be deceived. It is too dangerous. It is too deadly for us to be deceived. We must have our eyes open. We must hear the voice of God clearly in all areas. In all areas. We have to spend time with him. We have to know his voice. We have to know his voice. I advise you to avoid the mainstream media. That's the major mouthpiece of deception right now. I strongly advise you to avoid mainstream media and reduce your consumption of media. Reduce it as much as you can. I would advise you to stay away from people who are speaking contrary to truth. Truth that is found in the word of God and the truth that has been expressed and proven generation through generation. We must stay in truth. We must stay in righteousness. We must stand for righteousness. Understand the devil can transform himself into an angel of light and can deceive many. But only the ones that truly know God will be able to see past that. The people that truly know God and know his word will be able to see past that. I pray this blesses you and I pray that we all heed what the Lord is saying.